Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today I want to talk about learning a language for free and how to do that. And I think that when you talk about learning a language, really what a premium app does for you or paying for kind of language learning is it gives you kind of two main um, benefits. It gives you a convenience factor. It kind of gives you a plan on how to approach things. Maybe there's a, a kind of a list of words you're supposed to learn and then some grammar. It's like this very clear cut program where you don't have to really think about seeking out the resources or things like that or the kind of premium um, aspect of the app or paying for language learning gives you some sort of efficiency boost where you're learning the language a little bit more effectively. Um, it's a little bit easier. Maybe you have some more kind of fun elements with it. But that being said, you can still have have a lot of fun learning a language and still uh, have a lot of effectiveness even without kind of going down this um, this uh, this premium route or um, paying for language learning. There's so much you can do uh, just for completely free. And so, you know, if you're talking about learning a language for free, um, really, you know, no matter who you are, right, um, uh, whether you're paying for, you know, a a language learning class or a premium app or whatever, you're gonna kinda of all start at the same place. And at, be at the beginning, I think it's really important to get a foundation in vocabulary and grammar. And so when we talk about vocabulary, um, this is really the, the core essence of, of learning a language, right? Is getting a solid foundation of words under your belt. And so this would be the thousand most common words in the language, common adjectives, common verbs, uh, common prepositions, all these things and uh, you want to kind of build that up slowly over time until finally you can start using fun and compelling content, right? And there's a lot of ways to, to do this. Um, you know, there are uh, kind of flashcard apps that are completely free. Uh, two examples are Memorize and Anki, which you can just learn a lot of these common words. You could also look up vocabulary lists online for free. I mean, these common adjectives and common verbs and all these things are kind of all out there um, on the internet. So. Um, there's ways to uh, learn it either just through like lists, like I said, or using a flashcard app or something like that. So um, that's kind of the, the first kind of um, you know thing you would do. And then there's a grammar foundation, just because I think that it's good to get some sort of foundation in grammar just to know what's going on when you're reading or doing other compelling activities in the language learning process. And you know there's plenty of grammar explanations um, for free online for you know um, pretty much all the languages out there, right? There's um, a ton of examples of the conjugations, um, examples of the grammar and context, and there are also grammar explanations on YouTube for completely free. Now, I do think that getting a grammar book can be very helpful, um, a really solid one that um, will um, make just the process a little bit easier, but it's not necessary because a lot of these ex explanations are online for free or on YouTube, so you can kind of get by with this kind of vocabulary and grammar um, early on completely free. Right, and then kind of past this stage, um, you know, there's just so many options, right, uh, for you know, all the other aspects of the language learning process. So, you know, for listening, um, YouTube in of itself has a, a, a ton of material for um, practicing listening for completely free in the language that you're learning, right? Um, there's so much content being produced. And of course, on the internet, there's also um, audiobooks in the public domain. There are podcasts for completely free. And so you just have to kind of seek out those resources. Um, what are you interested in? And go seek out that audio content, right? I mean, obviously there is kind of guided audio programs to help you out um, that cost money or things like that, but you can find audio content online. You just have to do a little bit of searching. And like I said, it's for completely free. Um, and then in terms of you know practicing speaking, um, obviously the most probably convenient way to practice speaking is to get a conversation partner, which obviously costs money. However, um, you know, there are um, kind of internet forms out there um, or just language learning exchanges where you can help someone practice English, for example, and then they'll help you with the language that you're learning for 30 minutes. And so you can kind of do this back and forth, which would be completely free. Now, obviously it's a little bit, um, you know, less efficient because you're, you know, spending less time on the language that you're learning, right, and practicing speaking, but it is a free option. And of course, you can also go to meetups in your local area. And don't, um, you know, forget that you can also practice speaking by yourself, right, talking about a topic that you're interested in um, and uh, or practicing shadow speaking or something like that. There's a ton of opportunity to get better at speaking without, um, you know, paying money with paying money for a conversation partner, for example. So that's a, a way to practice speaking for free. And then in terms of reading, um, there is uh, obviously just tons of content on the internet that you can read for completely free. Um, obviously there are paid options with like reading apps like Link or um, graded readers or things like that, but there's plenty of uh, books in the public domain and 
tons of languages. Um, there's so much content online. You can use uh, Google Translate to help you along the way or some extensions in your browser to help you with the translation process and learning. So reading is also possible and it's one of those compelling activities. Um, and of course, really with any of the compelling activities, let's say you have a Netflix subscription, you can practice um, uh, you know, the language um, uh, you know, on Netflix, right? You know, watch um, foreign movies um, on Netflix with subtitles on, for example. Or if you have video games already, you can switch them into the, your target language and play those. Um, and if you don't really have those things either, there's just tons of compelling activity just everywhere, right? On YouTube, there's tons of awesome audio content. Um, there's so much to read just on the internet alone. So there's just so many ways to kind of approach learning a language for free. And I think that in a lot of cases, if you take this self-study approach, um, it can be a lot more effective and a lot more fun because you can kind of personalize your experience. You can do what you want to do, what you find interesting. I think that there are points though where it's just a little bit more work. Um, there's not a clear path. And I think some people, um, are a lot more comfortable with that than others. But I do um, think it's worthwhile to try to just explore that kind of self-study approach to try to just figure out things as you go along because you, you'll find, in, in at least my experience, that there's a lot of ways to learn a language for completely free. You know, you don't have to spend all this money on going to a language class or buying a premium version of an app or a bunch of language learning books or materials. I mean, those things can be helpful. Like I said, they can add a convenience factor, make your language learning more fun or more efficient, but by no means is it uh, really necessary. So um, there are ways to learn a language for free and um, hopefully this video is informative. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.